It is time for our Battle Royale, and we have football coaching royalty in our studio. Alan Wooten, let's see, North Pitt grad. I actually covered you when you played offensive line. We're blocking for a guy named Meatball at North Pitt. Then you coach at Green Central. Oh, you went to UNC. I should mention that because he is the smartest guy in the room everywhere he goes. At least in this room, he's made it a lot smarter here. Thank you for joining us here on the Blitz. I appreciate you having me. It's going to be a good time tonight. Glad yeah, here. well, it was a good time as you were taking on Croatan. When you saw the brackets released and you saw a rematch with the team that you beat in the first game of the year, what were your thoughts? I mean, you, you always like to play new teams in the playoffs yeah. because it gets your guys more excited and, and more energized. But uh, at the end of the day, you, you play the, the teams they put in front of you and we hope to be playing for five more weeks after tonight, and that's always been our goal when we start every season at Havelock. You're playing for one more week. Let's check out the highlights. Havelock beat Croatan 42 nothing to start the season, and the NCHSAA thought it would be such a good idea to have you guys play again. Such a short road trip for the Cougs to come up nine-mile road, and um, and then you went right to work. Andrew Frazier, you've been running him a lot this year, Coach. Yeah, he, you know, we've been trying to get that in his head that he's more of a dual threat guy. The first three years, he kind of sat in the pocket a lot more, than he was just looking in running back as well and we've been doing that with him all year and he's uh, going to eclipse a thousand yards here soon rushing and already above about 2,800 passes so he's had a really great season for us. And it's great when he has a target like Javante Vereen on the short uh, pass right there and then he's got a William Hyman for the touchdown as well. Uh, Blake is a, a great tight end and him and 44 Victor scored have done a great job giving us some versatility in the middle of the field which we haven't had in a long time. We've usually just been slots and split ends and those guys have really done a great job. Running game's been great with Jalen Morgan. Yeah, Jalen took over when LeBron Sharp got hurt, and uh, we haven't missed a beat, man. And they're both sophomores, so I mean, it's going to be a bright future for us in the backfield. So they've both been really energized for us. We see Jaden Evan pick up a small more and score a touchdown here. So uh, we're about eight minutes into the game. <laughs> We've just been, you know, playing as good as we can play, and things have bounced our way, and we were excited, and the kids were excited. And that's kind of like what you, that's what you want to see when yeah. the playoffs start. What would you say? You only ran, what, 11 offensive plays? Yeah, in the first uh, in the first half. Final score from Wilbur Sasser Field in Rams Stadium tonight, 68 to 7 Havelock advances. Now, you say you want to play a new team, guess what? You're not going to play a new team because Jacksonville went into Rocky Mount and ended up beating the Griffons. We thought this might happen because teams are so battle tested in that Big Carolina Conference. We thought they'd make a difference in the playoffs. We saw Conley come close at Leesville Road and we saw Jacksonville do the job in Rocky Mount. As look at that. They just outpowered the Griffons final score from Rocky Mount it was 21 17 Bo Williams and company it's a team that you had a shootout with in Jacksonville earlier this year coach such a good player uh, good coach He's got good players so we'll get ready for them next week Going to be another great one. We've got some really good rematches, including James Keenan and East Duplin uh, that we're going to see next week. Other 3A playoff games, your neighbors at West Carteret hosted the Advanced County Vipers. And uh, we knew West Carteret, back-to-back -back conference champions. They got their sophomore quarterback, Jalen Hewitt, looking for Mr. Graham. He's got him right there for the touchdown. We knew it was going to be a tight game with Vance County. The Vipers, one of our favorite nicknames of the new school in Vance County when they consolidated. And Vance County would end up in a, the end getting the win over West Carteret. 28-26, to 26, so Vance County gets the win. Surprise to you, Coach. Uh, what do you think of some of these results as you're seeing them tonight? Uh, Coach Barrow does a great job at, at West Carteret. They, they threw the ball so well this year. Vance County came out of the league with Southern Durham. They're a really talented team, yeah. fast quarterback. And so you all, anything can happen in the playoffs. You know, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's flip the point sometimes. Well, elsewhere in the Coastal Conference, Richlands, uh, they were part of that uh, three-way tie. They lost at Southern Durham 55-12, to so their season comes to an end as well. Northside Jacksonville in your conference made the playoffs as the 32nd seed. They traveled to Rocky Mount to take on the top seed, Northern Nash. And we talked about being battle-tested in your conference. They gave Northern Nash everything they wanted here early in the game. Uh, Northern Nash, though, coming through with the pass down the field that is broken up by the Monarchs. But in the end, Northern Nash would get the win over Northside 25 to 7, but great effort by Coach uh, Kendrick and company uh, going to Rocky Mount. Next up for Northern Nash, they'll play the winner of White Oak and Southern Nash. White Oak also part of that three-way tie to win the Coastal Conference, and they had a tough road trip. But Southern Nash, as you know them well of you, as you have played them in the playoffs, uh, they're a pound and a ground team, and they did that to White Oak tonight. Although the Vikings gave them a challenge, it was Southern Nash getting the win tonight by the final. Oh, but 62 to 26. So Southern Nash, one of those teams I know you're keeping an eye on as well, Coach. Oh, yeah, they're always uh, one of the 
battle tested teams in the 3A. A lot of Division One kids come out of there, so you just got to be prepared for their running style because that, that tight foot to foot, run it right at your stuff is not a style you see yeah. very often. Our bonus game, defending 3A East Regional Champ J.H. Rose hosted Cape Fear. Again, another team from your conference, the defending East Regional Champs, uh, taking on those Cape Fear Colts. And here comes Cape Fear. They were in the game early on. Here is a nice run for them. But Will Bland, Havelock native, uh, his team would come back and get the win. J.H. Rose advances 44 to 24. So they move on to the next round of the playoffs. Elsewhere in the 2A Coastal Area, elsewhere they're going to play 71st, who I know is a team that everybody's keeping an eye on in 3A. Well, it was Lee County over Currituck, and it was North Brunswick over Westover. Coach, thanks for coming in studio and giving us your insight. We'll see you for the second round next week.